Isn't that in like all cases though? Like you want it? Well, all right. That's still in time. Yeah, that is in time. Right. You know what I'm saying? I was trying to be cool. I mean, you can have hopes. It's not wrong, though. You can have a hope, but you know, once, once you start, once you start influencing the situation, then it's, that's when you cross the line. Yeah. What happens when you put Mr. Commitment issues with the jokester, the mixologist, the pretty boy? This is Boys to Men. So today we'll be talking about locker room talk. So, um, what does the phrase "boys will be boys" mean to you guys? I mean, I feel like that that definitely means like. Like, just saying, like, boys will be boys. So, like, essentially, like, anything goes if, like, boys will be boys. Oh, he he broke the, the, the vase. Oh, boys will be boys because, like, boys are aggressive. Boys are rough. Boys do this. They do that. And, like, locker room talk, like, especially, like, like talking about girls and stuff. Like, boy, it's, it's, such, it's essentially like a free-for-all. That's what that term means. It's like you can say whatever you want as long as it's in that that closed environment, I guess. Yeah, that closed. Boys will be boys is like, it's like, it's basically a translation of double standard. Like, it's basically a prettier way to say that because when you say boys will be boys, like, basically means like, yeah, they're gonna do some, they gonna some, do some, some, oh, some shitty right. shit, but yeah. they're gonna get away with it because they're, because yeah. boys are gonna do that. Yeah, and like, I think like, <clears throat> coming from a girl, I think, I think that phrase would primarily come from a girl. Um, because they may think like guys are like up to some shit or you know that's true I, I oh he about to go scheme on her like boy like he, you already know like they about oh all five of them going to a party oh you already know what type of time they on or something like that so I don't know you think that phrase plays a little into rape culture boys will be boys I mean especially in college like I didn't really know in high school but like in college like rape culture is a real thing a lot yeah. of things mm-hmm. are normalized that really, really are shit, questionable man. like. If we really want to get into it, like everything from like the drinking, like yo, we're gonna get her lit, like that's like that's I mean, that's, that's like all that's just, boys will be boys, yeah. like that's. But I just don't. I think that's like very, Why do you think it's like, a very specific, because like getting a girl drunk. Oh, all right. So say say somebody got raped. I don't think you just gonna be like, oh shit, that's just guys being guys. Like that's like. Well, that's drama. Well, yeah. Yeah. That's, <laughs> I, think, I think that's a stretch. Like just like putting like oh shit all. Black guys are just like rape. like that's wild. Like I, I just think that's I think a little the problem bad. is when, like in college is like different. Like college is real murky, you know, like I don't know if y'all be on your SVU, but like rape and like the city <laughs> is like different like college is really it's really like a lot of he said she said black mm-hmm. like it's it's a lot of gray area, you know? So mm-hmm. that's why the boys will be boys has room. Like let me make it make sense to you. Like in like in like in like in an saying. adult world, you know, you can't throw that boys will be boys out there because like we're grown, you know, you you're an adult, you're in the streets. Like it sounds aggressive, it sounds rough. Like all it's all awful. But you think of college and it's like, oh, I don't know. Like that's just regret. Like you know, it's more questionable in college. So boys will be boys leaves room for doubt. Like it allows you to leave that little, you know, that gray area. Do you think it plays into, like, entitlement when you say boys will be boys? Like, growing up, you know that men are not being held accountable for their actions if you're saying boys will be boys? I don't so think you, you realize it that young. Yeah, you don't realize it. You don't get it that early. So. Thinking back now, yes, I can say that. But being, like, a kid who was just being, like, you know, wild, like... I thought you it was know, supposed to be like that. Yeah, you know, like, I thought you know, boys will be boys was like a real thing. Like that's okay. Like I'm a kid. Like I'm a drunk. How would I know that? Like that's yeah. we're getting double standards or privileges or you know that's just what it's supposed to be at a young mind. But then also to so like what Aunt said, like you know a kid like break breaking um bo- like bo- break break sorry kids breaking like vases or like is different <coughs> than like you know rape and like that and like those should not be categorize within the boys will be boys realm. I get you. Also, like, there's, like, a difference you know, between, like, boys will be boys in the black community. Just in terms of, like, when we talk about, like, rape culture and shit like that, I don't think we talk about it enough in the black community. Like, I don't, I don't think we talk about, it, like, it going on and it occurring. So, like, this boys will be boys thing, I don't think it pops up because we don't have these conversations about rape and sexual assault in the black community. You know, like, we know it happens, but it's always, like, kind of slid on the road. And I mean, again, like a lot of these things you didn't know until college, like a lot of things that were problems in high school, like the things you saw or even younger from a kid on, you would see problematic things happening in adult relationships. But she, it was just the way it was, you know, you didn't know. I didn't learn until, you know, some years ago, a lot of things because 
college opens new doors, you know? Things become apparent. Things that are problems are introduced to you. Things that you're forced to question and you never even thought about before. Do you guys feel that men are feel entitled to women's bodies? Uh, I think there are men, like, at parties, like, that be like, yo... Scheming. For you know, like, you be scheming, like... Funny. Or, like, a girl dancing, automatically I'm about to catch a dub. Like, what if she, she doesn't agree to dance with you? Do you feel some type of way? Yes. Exactly. You learn again. Yeah, you learn rejection. Yeah, you learn rejection. Like, yeah, like, right. that's, that's like, you got to scope out, here. like, who really dances so you don't, so you don't right. get curved. Is that, it's like the collective answer. Are, is that a yes or a no? To what? Entitlement. Entitlement. I think there's I think there's a sense of entitlement. I think so. Uh, like, I think again, it's another case but, by but, case. Yeah, right. Let's right. let's say this. Let's say this. Uh, say say you meet like a girl. Say like you're talking to a girl, and you take her out for like dinner, right? You have a nice time, mm-hmm. do some, and go home, walk her home, all that. At the end of the night, what you going to expect? Like, say she invites you in. What are you going to expect? Uh-huh. Like personally, I don't expect nothing until it happens. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you don't know. I mean, you gotta feel it. You gotta feel it. You gotta feel it. Like, 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 but like, no, 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 no. you gotta outside of this room. What would most guys expect? You gotta feed off like her energy, though. You gotta yeah, like. That's a fact. You gotta yeah, feed every off. situation's organic. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Like, she's okay, that's that's true. You. But like, let's say she's like y'all y'all start fooling around. Like, say something like that happens, and then she's like, I'm tired. Like what? What will most guys do? We going to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> that's a. I, or, I mean, that, hey, so that's, that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's true. 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 That's like, well, you're trying to get something. Like, I'm, I'm, like entitled? just because... I don't, I, that's I, I don't think that's entitlement in that case. That's, what, that's, what, that's just, though. you just want that. That whole sense of entitlement thing, I definitely met dudes who felt like just because it was texting a girl for, like, two weeks, you know what I'm saying, sending good morning text, even small shit like that, right. you know what I'm saying? They feel like, oh, like, or like, oh, yeah, this is the second time she yeah. came over, bro. Like, if she not letting the me time hit, she like... a dub, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. you know, it is definitely... You know, they feel some type of way, especially if they like, oh, if I did this, she got to do that. Yeah. You know, it's definitely, that's not the case. Or it's Dudes not definitely to be work the off an eternal clock. Like, they have these expectations. Like, like all right, by now, like, like, and like something got to happen. Ten by ten. I see that, but, like, I'm, I'm, like, still trying to see, like, is that entitlement, though? Because, you, because like, you could also flip yeah. that with a, a, like, girl, too. Yeah. I mean, Maybe the same, like, still it's still so feel like you entitled to something. You feel like you put the work in, so you have to get something back. Yeah. So when you came to college, is that when you guys realized the importance of consent, or has it just always been instilled in you guys? It's always been. Always, always yeah, been instilled. Yeah, no, yeah. Hey, like, we ain't got time to catch no cases, man. Yeah, yeah. Like, my mama, like, my mama always says, case. like, she says no, no means no. So, like, yeah. when, no <clears throat> means no. That, that's as simple as it is. To me, it's Once not even that. about that. Like, I couldn't, personally, I couldn't even imagine. Like, if you're not going to go to 100%, I'm not about to yeah, go to the hundred percent. Like yeah. we working, you know what I'm saying? Crazy. Like you got to be there. If you're not there, why would I even want to yeah, yeah, keep it going? Yeah. Really though, you guys feel like if a woman is wearing a revealing clothes, that she's asking for it? No, 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 no. no. I mean that's. I mean I see why you would ask that question because it, it's a part of the culture. You know, mm-hmm. there's a, a lot of men out there that do use that excuse in those situations. But I think for men like us, college educated men. We understand that's not really a problem, or that's not acceptable. Mm-hmm. That's not a problem for any of us. Or that shouldn't be like a session sure. for yeah. us to like, oh snap. Why do you guys think that when men are rejected, they immediately turn to just being instinctively aggressive or rude? Because they're embarrassed, prideful. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Men are they don't want to say that. Their feelings were hurt. Yeah. They don't want to like look weak in front of other people that are around them. That's Jack, also, you gotta look at the girl though, because the girl be re- like they sometimes like. Um, reject guys like disrespectfully yeah. we so gotta like, talk about that yeah. screenshot phenomenon too yeah. man like okay a lot of them deserve it i laugh at a lot of those but damn i said hey nah, I said, hey. <laughs> someone said hey and you about to look at this thirsty dog in my life come on now i think it's also become a little bit of a trend like they want they want they it feels good to them like men do it too to have that feel like they get a little thirst or they get a little attention like it's a problem do you guys hold your friends accountable when they act out with um, women? My friend, not really. I believe this. What was that? <laughs> I, said, act out weird, like, I, mean, I so. try to sometimes. I can't <laughs> but not, I, mean, uh-huh. I don't hold them responsible all the time. I try to. Why is that? I can agree to that. Yes, you can, like, say this is a bad decision or something like that. But at the same time, like, they're grown men. Like, they're 21. Like, 
they're gonna make um, the decision like no matter like what I say. Now the repercussions, like what happens <clears throat> after, then I could be like, see, you should have done it. Now you now you see why. But at the same time, like you can only like tell a grown man so much because you know they make their own decisions ultimately. So if you saw one of your friends sexually harassing a woman, would you guys step in or would you oh, turn yeah. the button? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's the yeah, yeah, line. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. absolutely. Everyone agrees. But, yes. but what is sexual yeah, harassment? I but think yeah, that's right. where it sort of becomes once, problematic. Once, like, like, again, what, what, like, what's what the is word that? for that? Like, I think once you once a woman tells you that they're uncomfortable, that's automatic, automatically turns into harassment. Then. What have they like been dating like for forever, and like you know they've been in a relationship, and you know he may like grab her or something like that. Mm. Like, do you like step in there, or like, do you like leave them to be and like let it, let them hash out their like problems? I think like there's like a line that everyone knows. Like, all right, once you pass this, it's like okay, bro, like stop. <clears throat> but like, if my man's is speaking to his girl and she's walking and like he says, "Yo, stop," like I'm not gonna be like, "Yo, bro, you shouldn't like touch her." Like, I obviously he he's just I mean he has touched her, but like not on that type time. Like, I really do feel as though there's a difference, it, or not difference, but there's a case-by-case -case basis when speaking on, 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 like, on this. There's certain things, like, you're like, oh, that's, that's like, serious. Like, I'm, I can't get in the middle of that. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's when men don't step in anymore. Yeah. Mm -hmm.